What's up everybody? It's your boy Cotton. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to do a kaleidoscope effect as well as a variation of it that kind of looks like a bug's eye view. It's pretty flippin' awesome. Let me show you what it looks like. Alright, so this is what the regular kaleidoscope looks like. And this is what the other version looks like. To create the first effect, all you want to do is hold down Alt or Option and drag up your clip to make three copies of it. So there's a total of four copies. Then you're going to go to your Effects tab. You're going to type in Flip. On the top clip, you're going to drag on Horizontal. On the second clip, Vertical. And on the third clip, Horizontal and Vertical. Then you're going to change the blend mode to lighten on the top three clips and that is it alright so to create the second version it's pretty much going to be the same steps with the addition of a few extra steps so we're going to click alt and option and make three copies of our clip then we're going to take our horizontal, our vertical, and then horizontal and vertical. Change all of the blend modes to lighten. Then what you want to do is you want to alt and copy the bottom clip and drag it up to the top. And then you're going to nest the bottom four clips. So you're going to right click click nest, click OK. So now we're going to go back to the beginning of our clip. We're going to go to our opacity. We're going to click our circular mask. Then we're going to right click and go to safe margins. And then we're just going to make a circle. And you can experiment with this, make it different sizes to get different effects. But I'm just going to make a small circle. And I'm just using the margins to make sure it's even I can tell by looking right here so now I'm going to right click turn that off and now I'm going to feather this out to around 200 and something and then I'm going to open up my mass expansion a little bit and then there you have it So there you go, two new effects that you can use on some of your upcoming projects. That's going to do it for this video. As always, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, be sure to smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment, share the video with all of your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.